Welcome to part one of Sensor Gaming's video series taking a look at how Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters was censored in the US by English localizers for kids entertainment. There are many changes between the Japanese and the English versions and whilst it would be great to be able to go through them all, as there are so many this series will be focusing on the ones that are censorship in nature. Censorship being defined as changes that were made for moral related reasons such as due to wanting to target a younger audience. But with that out of the way, let's kick things off with the first ever episode, which is titled The Terrifying Blue Eyes White Dragon over in Japan. This episode features Yugi's debut battle with Kaiba, which he gets coerced into following his grandpa being defeated and sent to hospital due to Kaiba's new advanced 3D battle system. The fact that the monsters and attacks appear on the field in a dramatic fashion causes his grandpa to collapse from shock. In Japan though, Kaiba will taunt Yugi saying that the old man is dying. This was removed in the 4 kids version so that his grandpa is just called weak. Next up is a series Y change that has been made to Yugi's signature card, the Dark Magician. Occult references are a big source of censorship to the Yu-Gi-Oh franchise and it is this reason why the Dark Magician was renamed in the English release from its Japanese name of the Black Magician. References to black magic being seen as too taboo for western shores. Normally when the Dark Magician attacks in the Japanese version his attack name will be called Black Magic too. Black Magic. The attack name was completely removed in the English release with no substitute being given. Occult references are also the reason for our next change, which is a series wide change that's been made to Exodia. In the Japanese version, the card designs will show triangular objects around the border, the intention being that when the cards are combined into one, a pentagram will be displayed. Four kids changed this to a spellbinding circle instead. Changes were also made to the graphics when Exodia is summoned to the field. In Japan, a pentagram will be displayed, whereas in the English version, this was obscured with a lot more lines. And lastly for episode 1 is a change made to Yami Yugi's Mind Crush special power, an ability that's not really mentioned in the dub but plays a big part in the Yu-Gi-Oh storyline. Holders of Millennium items such as Yugi's Millennium Puzzle are able to inflict supernatural punishments to people who either lose or cheat in a shadow game. Mind Crush is the name for one of Yami Yugi's punishments and whilst it can allow him to kill his opponent, it can also be used for other purposes like is seen in this episode. In the Japanese version Yami Yugi uses uses his mind crush on Kaiba to seal away the evil in his heart. This is a reference to the manga, where instead of just sealing away the evil, Kaiba's heart is shattered into pieces and turned into a puzzle, sending him into a coma. In the English version there is no mention of any of this, and Yugi just tells him to open his mind and maybe he'll begin to see why he lost. Next up we have episode 2, which is titled The Illusionist No Face Trap over in Japan. This episode features numerous monster names that were renamed in the English version. The first of these being Devil Dragon, which was changed to Komori Dragon in the English release, with Komori being the Japanese word for bat. It is likely that this was renamed to remove the occult devil part of its name. This is similar to the change that was made to Summon Demon, or Summon Skull as it's known in English territories. The word demon is something that's been removed many times. For instance, in the Japanese version of the game there is a whole monster type known as the demon type. This was renamed in English versions though to the fiend type. Another monster type that's been changed is the undead type which was renamed to the zombie type. It is likely that this was to try and distance the franchise away from mentioning death. This also sees monsters such as episode 2's undead warrior renamed in the English version to zombie warrior instead. But to move away from that on onto episode 3 which is titled the lost exodia in Japan. The first censorship change made to this episode can be found when Yugi gets beaten up by a bully in a flashback scene. Listen carefully and you'll notice that the four his dub removed the loud punch sound effects. Another change was made to the scene that introduces Mai. The 4 kids version on the right removed a scroll up effect that pans up her body. This was likely due to them feeling it was too suggestive in nature. Apparently 4 kids also felt that characters needing to pee was too inappropriate as well, as is shown in our next scene. Here Tristan and Taya sneak on board the boat to Julius Kingdom, and in the Japanese version Taya is complaining about needing to go to the bathroom. In the 4 kids version though she is complaining about being cold. In Japan Tristan tells her to just pee in the corner and so she gets angry and says that she's not a boy. In the English version Tristan instead says something that's gone on to become a meme in the Yu-Gi-Oh fanbase due to it seeming very random. Hey Tia, oh. stay down or we're busted. It's freezing out here, I can't sit still. <laughs> in another few hours the sun will rise. <laughs> <clears throat> that's not funny Tristan. 
The English version also removed a bit of extra animation showing Taya squirming. Following that we have a change that was made to Mai and Rex Raptors seen inside Rex's private quarters. Using her seductive charm she tells Rex that if she wins in a game she gets to have his room, whilst if he wins she will give him a kiss. This causes Rex to blush with embarrassment. In the Japanese version though this could be seen as more suggestive in nature as she says that she will do whatever he tells her to do. Mai's cards also got changed due to their suggestive designs. The design of Harpy Lady had extra clothing added to it so that less skin is shown. The Harpy Lady power-up card Cyber Shield was also altered to remove the spikes coming out of the breastplate. It also had its name changed in the English version from the Japanese name Cyber Bondage. And then lastly yet another change made to Mai in this episode is another removal of a pan up shot of her body. In the 4 kids footage on the right you can see that they replaced the shot of the lower part of her body with another shot of the cards. That's all for this time though but part 2 will be coming soon taking a look at the next episode and more. If this is something you're interested in then please make sure to subscribe and leave a comment below and until next time thank you for watching.